Hey guys, so after my video last night, I got inspired to uh, configure Awesome for my void setup. So I just wanted to go over how to get a basic setup going, where all the important files are, and what programs you can use to augment your experience a little bit. So first off, we're going to want to get our default Awesome config. And there's two main directories that you're going to want to look in for that. So the first is Etsy XDG Awesome. And here we have a sample config. So we're going to want to copy that over to config awesome rc.lua. The next set of files that we're going to be interested in are in user share awesome themes. So here are the four main themes and the one that is default to is default. Uh, and you can copy these directories over and change it as you see fit, but I decided to just go with default and change little things here and there. So going over some of the basics of getting your um, rc.lua set up, the first thing you're going to want to do is set your term. So you set it from X term to whatever you're using. I really like Kitty, so I always set it to that. And the reason you're going to want to do this is otherwise you won't be able to open a terminal when you first start Awesome. The next thing is setting the height for the Wii bar and the title bar. So the way you do that is when you're instantiating these objects, you pass in the height or width or size um, as a parameter to the Lua table that gets used in the uh, kind of constructor-like function. So this sets the Wii bar, which is this. I thought 36 was pretty good. I know this is a little bit wide. I think I have it at 44, but I really like the look of the kind of like chonky bars up there. So where did I, here we go. So the title bar, size 44. And then beautiful and gears are two things that you can use to augment different things. Beautiful takes in the theme. So these are set in the theme, but you can overwrite them here. So I have hack font 18, useless gap 7, and then using gears I'm able to set the wallpaper. The next program that I want to go over, um, so that config right there, you can get started with awesome, you can do everything you want, but you might experience some screen tearing, you're almost certain to, and you won't get things like transparent backgrounds like this. Uh, so the next program you're going to want to install is Pycom. And one of the kind of idiosyncrasies of void is that it doesn't put the default pycom conf in etsy xdg it actually puts it in user share examples pycom so it's right in there in this so what we do is we copy that over to a pycom directory in the config folder so if i go into my config my pycom so the first thing that I did is I disabled shadows. You don't have to do this. Um, another thing you might notice immediately is inactive windows are semi-transparent. I wasn't a huge fan of that. I usually have two windows side by side, one that I'm taking notes from. And when it's uh, transparent, it just doesn't feel right. It's not as contrasty. It's harder to read. So I disabled that. The other thing that I did was I set rounded corners to six. And one of the interesting things here is if you save this, it will actually um, change it on the fly. So I set this to six, um, just so I get a little bit of clipping. Not too much, but just enough to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Background blurring, I found that it didn't really work too well for me, so I set that to false. Um, and let me see here. Oh, and for screen tearing, I use GLX instead of XRender, uh, VSync to true. And I believe for this NVIDIA card, that was everything that I needed to get screen tearing to stop. The, and just a quick example of some screen tearing here. So you can see very smooth scrolling. Um, and then if you're on an Intel card, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a 20 intel.conf file. And what's funny is that you literally just pass in uh, tear free true and it stops tearing. Um, so this is the file right here. And you're just going to set 
these parameters if they're not already set, but the main one here is tear-free-true, and that should prevent any sort of screen tear. So the if you set that up, you'll have a tear-free um, compositor with Awesome. You'll be maybe 80% towards a desktop environment. And if you already have one like XFCE, you've got all the applications that you'd need. You've got auto mounting for external drives. And I feel that's why XFCE and Awesome go so well together because you get all those desktop environment features. Uh, you get a desktop environment if you really need one. But then when you're using your minimal window manager, you have all those same applications. So you don't feel like you're missing out on, not, on anything, on a window manager or on some of the features of a desktop environment. So some of the next programs I'm going to go over are more for just general configuration kind of to help out your uh, workflow. So the first here is a render. And what I use this for is I use it to disable the laptop screen. Um, I'm just with tiling window managers, I'm not a huge fan of having multiple screens. So I just use my monitor. It also makes setting the background a little bit easier. And then when you save this, it saves a bash script to the screen layout folder. Um, and you can just run that bash script and it'll automatically get you the layout that you want. Then the other package is LX Appearance. And this makes it so simple to set your theme, your uh, icons, your mouse, your default font. Um, overall, I, I just find this much easier than trying to go into the terminal and do it. For most things, I really prefer the CLI, but I prefer it because it makes things easier, and I found that this makes things a lot easier and much more simple. The last program that I'll talk about is Rofi, and I decided to use this over the default um, awesome menu bar just because it has a lot more features, it's a bit more customizable, and I like that it's just right in the middle of the screen and it gives you those options. So if I were to use this for Kitty, um, we put the config, and I don't believe they give you a default one. I didn't start with one. And dot config rofi, and then config dot rasi. I haven't seen that extension before. Um, so this I just took from their website. There wasn't any default. It defaults to Grovebox Lite, but I wanted to go with my Grovebox Dark theme that I'm using. I set the font. Um, I set the element icon here, just because I wanted to get those, and then I set the size. But the only things that will really change from having no config is setting this font right here, changing the theme, setting the icons, and then changing their size. And once you do that, all you do is you just replace the menu bar key binding with uh, Rofi. So same key binding, you can change it if you want, but you just run Rofi instead. And I found that to work really, really well. Um, huge fan of it. Got everything working. And all in all, I'm very happy to be back in my uh, window manager environment. And oh, I forgot. One of the most important things that you're going to want to go over is your Zenit RC. So here I have PyCom and then Except for the last statement, which gets an exec, you're going to want to put an and uh, at the end. So I have PyCom starting, then I have that screen layout starting to shut my laptop screen off, and then I exec Python or exec awesome. So once you have your Zenit set up, um, you've got your compositor set up if you want one, and then any other scripts that you want to run while you're starting up awesome. Uh, you'll get a pretty custom experience without too much effort. All right, thank you guys.